The wood burn scale uh, gets a lot of attention. It uh, is our busiest scale throughout the state. It does static weighing of approximately 7,000 trucks through there every day. Our basic job here is size and weight enforcement and our secondary job is checking trucks out for safety. It is also typically our guinea pig for new technology. IRD is a vendor that we work with on helping us with technology upgrades throughout the state. They came to us and asked if we would be willing to do a pilot tax system at one of our scale houses, so we of course chose Woodburn. The tire anomaly system has a series of sensors out at the entrance of the ramp, and as the truck pulls across, it measures anomalies or differences in pressures. So it could be a flat tire, not properly inflated, it could be a missing tire, or if tires are mismatched. We'll go out with our hammer and hit the tires to see if we, we do have an issue. And we do catch a lot of flat tires. We've all driven down the freeway systems and noticed the pieces and bits of tires that are a result of a blown tire. Well, the thing with a flat tire is they start heating up and then as the rubber gets hot, it'll separate. It could blow or actually just come off the rim and hit somebody. You understand the damage that one of those pieces of tire tread can do to a vehicle. So it is a huge safety issue. We are looking to implement additional ramp systems. If they build up the systems around the state, I think you'll see more of that rubber missing from the freeway. The drivers out there don't want somebody hurt, and when stuff happens on a highway with a big rig like that, people get hurt, killed. So it's better that we catch the safety stuff here and park them and make them fix things before they get back out on the highway. Well, it's both a benefit to our traveling public, benefit for a safety aspect, and benefit to the industry. Overall, it's a benefit for everyone.